guys, Mixed Media Girl here. I am at Christina's studio with Christina herself. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> so she's going to show me how to do this, what you call it, a flip cup swap? Intermingling flip cups. <laughs> <laughs> totally just made up a name there. Intermingling flip cups. Okay. So for this, I saw you do one of these and you used four cups? Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is a cradle board. It is six by 24. 24 inches and the sides are taped off here and cradle board that's I'll show y'all this is wood okay so it's two inches deep and um, the sides are taped off to keep them all nice and pretty and then maybe I'll paint them gold or something like that afterwards I'm using the I don't know how to say it. Porage. Por porage, like garage. Porage. Yeah. I want to say porridge. Everybody does. Porage Posse paint. So I got Gold Rush. I got Purple Shimmer. I got Ocean Teal. And I got Moody Blue Shimmer. And these are mixed with Floetrol. And they have silicone in them. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to use some white. And this is... Uh, creative Inspirations Titanium White. Oh, Creative Inspirations Titanium White. Okay, excellent. And I just put the paint in the cups. Mm -hmm. You really want to shake them, though. I really want to shake them. Yep. Oh, here's your verb. <laughs> your erasers. I just figured it out. Okay. All right. Shake. And do you notice how I tip the top of those? Uh huh. So you know what when it goes back on. She puts these erasers. These are just rubber erasers with the colors on them. That's so genius. She had a whole like massive case of erasers. Allison, what's up with that? <laughs> okay. Shaken. Mm -hmm. Now stirred. Okay, so now we're going to put colors in here, starting with the white. Okay. And then I'm going to do gold. I'm definitely going to be using more of this gold. I'm going to put this right here. This is the ocean teal blue. Y'all know I like the gold and the teal together. I love that teal. I mean, this could probably be perfect just with these colors. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to put a dash of this purple shimmer in here too. Because I also like purple. Okay. And now, am I like, you need a lot more paint? Or I go really? like three quarters of the way. Okay, good. Are you going to do the moody blue too? Oh, I'm getting there. Okay. I'm getting there. I shouldn't question you. You're <laughs> the master. Flip cups and rings. Okay. So now we're going to do some more gold. Lots of gold. You do love your gold. I do. Which is really funny because I used to never love gold and now I'm kind of addicted. More teal. And then we're going to throw the moody blue in. And then we'll see how much... If we have enough paint by then. I feel like we will. But, you know. Who knows. How's that looking? Good. Good. Alright, so now we're going to flip cut these. And this takes an incredible talent. I've been practicing this for years. <laughs> Probably could have done it an easier way, but. Ha! <laughs> Slam that cup. <laughs> okay, so now the trick is to poke a hole in the bottom, yeah, mm -hmm. so that a little bit of paint starts to come out. I watched a video of Christina doing this, which I'll put in the description so you guys can check it out. Make sure you also subscribe to her. Go ahead and poke. Mm -hmm. Okay, <laughs> I'm just making this up as I go. So you can see that it starts to come out. She held hers there. At what point do I not hold it? <laughs> When now you can let go. Okay. Poke so, this one? Nope. Nope. Okay. So what you're going to do is intermingle these two, but you don't want to let too much out of this cup because you're going to ingle And then switch them over? Yeah. Ah! Oh my gosh. That's not as easy it look, as it looked. Okay. I'm going to move this over here a bit. You can actually fill up your edge over there and take that cup off if you want. Oh, that's pretty. Mm-hmm. Yum. Okay, so see, you want to leave some in this one because oh, you got to ink that. My bad. Out. You're okay. Okay, now I'm going to do this one. Let's let that start to come up. And then intermingle. Yep. <laughs> okay. 
And then I'm going to just leave that there for now. Go ahead and do this one. Get in there. And that's <laughs> Christina's like, what is happening? <laughs> well, that teal really showed up, didn't it? Yeah. So pretty. So pretty. All right, these cups are really fun. I don't think that's what you did. You didn't just lift them up, did you? <laughs> no, I moved them a little, but you're okay. All right, all you right. You can always put the cup back over and move it if you want. I think it's okay. I think so, too. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and tilt, and they're... Okay, so these are Christina's paints also, which if you enjoy these colors as much as I do, you should check them out on your website or on, the, on your Etsy store. I have them in Etsy, and, or they can contact me through my email. Okay, good. So I'll put the link to our Etsy store as well. Um, and then they're mixed with the Flow Troll. And do you add water as well? No, I do not use water. Okay, so mix with the Flow Troll with I what? Have, I have additives that I have to put in for shelf life so okay yeah and then about what ratio do you use with your paints and then the flow trough when they buy the jars you mean to mix them yeah, like when you mix your own paints in your bottles here um i use equal parts paint and glue i use glue oh okay and then i add flow trial double the flow trial okay but i don't ever use water ah. i use what the only time i use water is in my white paint that's it right. white or black okay and then, um, and then you add silicone. Yep. Use the treadmill. Yep. Okay. Spot on. Spot on treadmill silicone. How do we feel about this? Torch <laughs> I'm all about torch Now, do you mean by that light it on fire because it's horrible? No. Just kidding. <laughs> all right. Paper towel. Or two. Sorry. I always take two. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to torch it, which is going to bring up some cells here, some more cells, and get rid of air bubbles. Ooh, I got your pad. Oh, okay. I started <laughs> it on fire before. That's what the cups are for. You can put it out. What do we think? Looks good. Alright, so here's what we're going to let this do. I'm going to let this sit for a little while. Because especially with that silicone, we want to see what else develops. But that was just tons of fun. And then we'll come back for a close-up. Alright guys, here is our canvas. It's all ready to go. So it should dry pretty much like this. I was kind of hoping that some more of that gold would come out. But that's okay. Very happy with these colors. Really happy with this color combination. And that was quite the wild and fun technique. So stay tuned on my community page and on my Instagram and Facebook page and everything for the dried version. I'll go ahead and put gold on it and everything when it's all done. And I'll see you all next time.